Hello, my name is Donette Burgess, and I'm coming to you as a member of the Hershey Board of Trustees. Milton Hershey was once quoted as saying, if I ever became rich, I am going to use my money to build schools to give every boy and girl an opportunity to get an education. His dream actually came to fruition, for in 1909, Hershey founded a school to educate poor male orphans. He created a charitable trust to support the school and appointed trustees to manage the trust of the school's benefit. The school today enrolls close to 1,200 low-income young men and women on our residential campus in central Pennsylvania. The trust has been sufficient in supporting the school so that the students do not have to pay tuition. Also, the Hershey Company has been the largest employer in this town with over 6,200 employees. However, because of a lack of diversi diversification in the trust investment, and the increasing competition from other candy makers, the trustees proposed selling the trust controlling interest. A few of us strongly ob objected to the selling of the trust's controlling interest, as this may adversely affect the school, the employees, and negatively impact the economy and the community as a whole. The Hershey Corporation was founded as a nonprofit organization. Hershey's purpose was to build a community community of homes, parks, schools, and to enrich the lives of those around him. And this is noted in the Hershey Museum. We understand, as explained by Worth, that the governing board of a nonprofit organization holds ultimate responsibility for ensuring that the organization serves its mission and for the overall welfare of the organization itself. Selling of the controlling interest will not protect the interests of the school's trust or that of the surrounding community. We are happy that the government was able to step in and help. As pointed out by Worth, most laws affecting nonprofit boards are state laws enforced by state attorney generals and state courts. Under Pennsylvania law, the state attorney oversees charitable trusts. The attorney general was called in to ensure that the trustees maintain a duty of care, of loyalty, and of obedience. According to Worth, a duty of care means paying attention and exercising due diligence in monitoring the organization's finances and supervising the actions of its management. Although the trustees were trying to diversify the funds holding, it would be putting the company at risk by, selling, by the selling of its controlling interest. Also, the trustees have a duty of loyalty, meaning that the members of the board should put the interests of the organization above their own personal financial in interests or that of another organization, with which they may also have a formal relationship. And the duty of obedience requires that the board complies with the laws and that any decision or action taken are consistent with the organization's mission and govern documents. According to the courts, the financial needs of the law did not of the school did not require the sale of the controlling interest in the company stock. The court also noted that the Hershey Company might be irreparably harmed if, even if the school's trusts were enriched. This was noted by Christopher Gatson of Trust and Estates. And thus, the selling of the trust would go against the mission and vision of founder Henry uh, Milton Hershey. With that said, it appears that the trustees who were in favor of selling the controlling interest of the company were not being faithful and loyal to the organization's mission and did not maintain its duty of care. Milton Hershey had a vision of building a community in his home region. He wanted a community that had homes, parks, schools, created job opportunities, and enriched the lives of those around him. The trustees have a duty to ensure that this organization serves its mission. In this situation, I am grateful that the Attorney General stepped in to oversee the efforts of diversifying the funds. Milton Hershey did, Milton Hershey's dream did come to fruition, and I am sure that the people of this community are grateful that the trustees were not able to proceed with the selling of the controlling interests of the company. Milton Hershey looked out for the needs of other people. He was even quoted as saying, one is only happen, happy in proportion as he makes others feel happy. 
This is the same principle that is found in Acts 20.35, which states, In all things I have shown you that by working hard this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that it is more blessed to give than to receive. My name is Donna Burgess, and I thank you for your attention.